Daniel Sigalot is a contemporary artist, and he works in different media, but he's probably best known for his installations of paper airplanes. Or actually, it looks like paper airplanes, but they are actually metal sculptures, uh, sheets of metal folded to look like paper airplanes. And they come together to make these more elaborate and ornate designs. Now, what, what Sigalot's doing there is he is taking something that is a quintessential throwaway object. Um, I mean, quite literally, a paper airplane is made to be thrown away. And he is making it into fine art. He is being a little bit playful with what goes into a gallery, taking something that is often sort of overlooked and discarded. But he is also he's also taking it very, very seriously, meticulously crafting it, carefully arranging all of these pieces to form his artwork. So there's a little bit of there's a little bit of bringing play into that serious structured environment, but also bringing serious structure to play of making the paper airplanes and things like that. Now, another artistic concept that has to do with play and relaxing and meditation is Zen tangles. And Zen tangles are spontaneous designs that are made of repeating patterns. And when we add some structure to those repeating patterns, we can make really interesting, intricate, and elaborate designs. So what we're going to do is start by making a Zen tangle. And a Zen tangle, as I said, is a repetition of patterns. I always recommend by start, to start by breaking up the space on the page, um, draw a few lines and shapes just to divide it up into segments. And then in each of those different segments, create new and original patterns and designs until you have filled your whole paper. You want to, you want to have so many lines and shapes in, in your design that but essentially the paper is covered in half ink and half white space. Um, I set that as sort of a good benchmark, half black, half white, or half ink, half um, white, or half covered, half uncovered by the patterns and designs that you are, you are drawing. Like I said, you just keep going until you have covered every inch of that paper. Now, after you have completed a nice Zentangle design, what you're going to do is give it structure by making it into a paper sculpture. So you're going to have a colorful paper sculpture at the end of this. I'm going to, in my example, take some inspiration from Daniel Sigalot, and I'm going to make mine into a paper airplane. But I would encourage you to think beyond just paper airplanes. You can, of course, fold it into a paper airplane, but think about how cool it would look to have a Zentangle origami crane or a Zentangle origami butterfly or any other design that you would like to create. You can find many different origami instructions or origami patterns online. Um, or, like I said, a simple paper airplane is what I'm going to demonstrate at the end of this video. But again, the two main things I'm going to want to see are a nice, unique Zentangle design with lots of different types, types of patterns. And then I want it folded into a paper sculpture, paper airplane, or some other origami form. For those interested in making other origami forms, I am going to add videos showing how to make an origami swan. And then after this one will be an origami crane. But for either a swan or a crane or most other origami forms, you need to start by cutting your paper into a square. And if you want to make an origami crane, the last demonstration I'm going to include is how to fold an origami crane.
And of course, you can find more origami sculptures uh, looking at my other origami videos or just Googling origami instructions. There are tons and tons of plans out there.